Stephen Zelich will head to trial in Walworth County. A judge just agreed that there is probable cause to believe Zelich committed a crime. A jury, though, will ultimately decide his fate. Jonah Kaplan joins us inside the courtroom with that story. The long and sometimes testy preliminary hearing revealed some gruesome details about what investigators actually found inside those suitcases. The first suitcase had an adult woman. Uh, she was naked. Uh, she had a gag ball uh, in, her, in her mouth. The second person uh, was also an adult female. Uh, she was wrapped in a plastic garbage bag. We now know the identity of those two women, Laura Simonson and Jenny Gomez, but investigators say they're not from Walworth County and they didn't die in Walworth County, which meant the only relevant information today was where they were found and how they were found. Walworth County prosecutors charged Zelich with hiding corpses with the intent to cover up a crime. He told me that he had been storing these bodies in the trunk of his vehicle and that the smell was so strong that he decided that he had to get rid of them. Zelich's lawyer considered that a bogus argument and contested what hidden actually means. In this case, we have two suitcases put alongside a road just north of a police station, just south of a very busy regional interchange of uh, Interstate 43 and Highway 12. The back and forth lasted nearly an hour before the judge said enough. Apparently they were there a few days, nobody noticed them. A judge's opinion though won't matter now as the case moves forward. It'll be up to a jury to decide the definition of hidden and the fate of Stephen Zelich. Arraignment is July 17th. In Walworth County, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. And again, investigators think Zelich may have killed these women and committed other crimes as well, but those crimes they believe took place outside of Walworth County. So other charges could be coming from other jurisdictions.